Hey guys, how the hell are you? Today we are going to do a new episode of My Personal Guitars. And by very popular request, we are going to check out my Hoppus Kaiser 8 FF. The specs on this instrument include a two-piece ash body with a bolted on five-piece rosewood and ebony neck, ash headstock, rosewood fingerboard with 24 stainless steel frets, 26 inch to 28 inch multi-scale design with an ABM single saddle bridge, custom shop Seymour Duncan alternative eight and jazz slanted soap bar humbuckers. Master volume, master tone with a push pull coil split and a three way toggle switch. So this beautiful instrument was crafted by Robert Sola out of Berlin, Germany. He is an excellent luthier who has only gotten better with time. I recently had a chance to check out some of his newest stuff at the last Winter NAMM show about two years ago now and was very, very, very thrilled to see how he's progressed as a luthier, so definitely buy with confidence. This was my very first custom ordered instrument that I ever placed an order for. I placed this order back in 2014, received my completed guitar early 2015. I couldn't have been happier. It's an instrument that plays like a dream, especially with that rosewood neck, which was something I specifically requested. At the time, I was enamored by six-string rosewood-necked Ernie Balls. I thought they had a beautiful tone to them, and I wanted the same thing from this, and I was very, very happy with the end result. Gave me a nice, darker tone, which, albeit, is something that not a lot of folks want from an extended range instrument, but for me, for my purposes, I thought it sounded absolutely killer, as well as feeling really, really great. Super fast neck, super comfortable neck profile. I ordered this back then because at the time no one was really doing fan fret multi-scale instruments except for companies that were charging exorbitant amounts for it. And even then there was a lot of custom shops that just wouldn't even touch that option at that point. You have to understand this was years before Ibanez ever considered putting out fan fret instruments. This was a long time ago for this sort of feature. What was I to do? I had recently discovered eight strings, but I felt like that was the main lacking issue, was the comfort and the string tension. I wanted more string tension on the bass side, I wanted a little bit less on the treble side, and straight scale eight strings just didn't do that for me, so had to get something custom built. This instrument has been featured in an article in Premier Guitar. I'm also very happy to report this was the first ever Hoppus guitar that made it across the Atlantic to North America. Plays like a dream. Sounds awesome, extreme high amount of output from those pickups, just sounds brutal. Like this is not really an eight string that is meant for Genty styles, although kick up that push-pull coil split and it definitely does it. But man, this thing was meant for the brutes. 
It was designed for the brutes, and I'm very, very happy that I've gotten the brutes out of it. You can tell how much I loved it because with how thin this finish is, it's definitely something where underneath just my finger pressure right here and right here, it's definitely wound down just from me brushing against it as I play. It's definitely a cool feature. It's definitely something nice to see that an instrument I have loved so much has just gotten a lot of natural wear in that respect. Just something that, wow, I can see and I can tell how much I've played this and how much I've loved it over the years. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Tons more metal and guitar oriented content to come. And please remember, take what you do seriously. Do not take yourselves too seriously.